Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. What do you know about this movie? So this is Harrison Ford. Yes. And this is like an action adventure movie. Perfect. I know that you're probably like, how have you never seen these movies? We haven't. There's no answer. Yeah, um, we have seen the fourth Indiana Jones film. So that's the only experience to Indiana Jones. Well, that and then the ride at Disneyland. Yes, so very familiar with the ride at Disneyland. Been there quite a few times. So I don't know if that's based on this Indiana Jones movie or if it's like a combination of all of them. But I'm expecting like a giant cannonball at some point. Oh yeah. Uh, some snakes. So, I mean, we know like Indiana Jones hates snakes, the ball thing, uh, the whip for sure. Yeah, and uh, like a Jeep. Oh, that's true. That's what you're in in the ride. Yeah. So there's obviously stuff that we would know just by existing in pop culture and all that stuff. Yeah. References and other forms of media, but we actually haven't seen the original trilogy. So I'm super excited. I mean, it's Harrison Ford, Steven Spielberg, I think also George Lucas in some capacity. Okay. So super excited to experience something that the majority of the world has already experienced and we could actually join the club. Yeah. And for this video, we want to thank our sponsor, FlexiSpot. Thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. So it was pretty important for us to try to find a standing desk that was big enough to give a lot of tabletop space and roomy enough below to be comfortable, specifically for Sam during her pregnancy. I do have a regular nine to five job and I do work from home um, a couple days a week as well. So being able to have the flexibility to stand while I'm working is huge. And you know, at a certain point, I'm gonna be probably sitting on a medicine ball uh, <laughs> while I'm working so not only the flexibility of standing but also of lowering myself to be able to still work while on different seated positions is gonna be a game changer. It can go super low if Sam's sitting there with a medicine ball or it can go practically to her being able to touch the ceiling. It can handle me, it can handle Cooper. This desk is pretty powerful in terms of its motor and extremely stable with how much weight it can support, especially with my weight. <laughs> uh, we've had other standing desks in the past and the range is nowhere close to what this table has provided us. FlexiSpot was also extremely generous in providing us with a couple of accessories. They did provide a drawer that does connect directly to the desk. It's perfect, the location of it, it's easy to grab things out of, and maybe I can keep some things off of the top of the desk. <laughs> we also went with uh, some dual monitor arms that uh, attach to the back of the desk, uh, clamps on, and it just cleans up the space on the actual desk so that you can have stuff below the monitor. Super flexible in any sort of angle or position that you want. The accessories are very customizable. So there's just a ton of options provided by FlexiSpot. This desk is also extremely easy to set preset heights on. If I do want to swap out my medicine ball versus a rolling chair versus standing, there are three different settings that I can set up and I don't have to memorize the height. Hit it to the size that you know you're gonna want and go on with your work day. The desk is also extremely sturdy. It holds a bunch of weight, but it is not going anywhere. It feels very stable and we were comfortable enough to sit on it. We were comfortable <laughs> enough to put Cooper on it. It's just an extremely high quality product. Especially for safety concerns, for Sam being pregnant, as well as a future little kid running around, having that stable foundation and that stable desk, it gives just another peace of mind that this thing isn't going anywhere. So for FlexiSpot, the reviews speak for themselves. You don't have to listen to us. You can go check it out, see other people's actual reviews. So if you're in the market for a new desk, uh, trying to upgrade your office space, definitely check out FlexiSpot. The level of customization, the level of options that they have. And we personally highly recommend a standing desk in terms of all of the flexibility that it can give you. And for us, FlexiSpot is number one for that. Absolutely. And pricing is incredible for what you're getting. This is a great quality product and we would absolutely recommend it. So thank you again for FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. And you can check out FlexiSpot at the link in our description below. So thanks again to our sponsor FlexiSpot. 
And if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. All right. Not sure if it was the statue or the bats that scared him. I don't know if I would continue if my guide panicked and left. <laughs> Poison is still fresh. Three days. Poison? If they knew we were here, they would have killed us already. So they are definitely somewhere they should not be. 1936. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna turn on him? Yeah, quick with the whip. This is where Forrest all cashed in. A friend of yours. A competitor. All oh, those spider webs. Yeah, I'm already not going in. See ya. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Dude, I would kill myself. Stay out of the light. Interesting. Ooh! Forest stall. Oh, that was your competitor? Mmm. Wow, he didn't make it very far. No. First booby trap. I like the lighted reveals of his face. There's nothing to fear here. Oh! That's what scares me. Yeah. There's no way it's just sitting on display like that. Oh, man. Stay here. If you ain't seen young. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a lot of potential darts. Even just picking that up. Oh, okay. He's replacing the weight. Yeah. Better be right. Music's so intense. That was fast. Mm. Oh, oh no. too heavy. Oh, oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, he left already? No time to argue. Throw me the idol. I throw you the whip. Adios, senor. Oh, oh, Dr. Ock. Oh, jeez. Oh. You were running out of time. Oh. Did not make it very far. That was brutal. Oh, hey. There it is. You would have been better off staying behind it. Oh, Ooh, man. Spiders. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Again, we see there is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. This guy just keeps stealing his artifacts? I guess so. Too bad the Jovitos don't know you the way I do, Belloc. Mabata! Oh, it's not out of it yet. Damn, all that just to get it stolen immediately? Well, at least he didn't die immediately like the other guy. <laughs> oh, I've seen this parodied on Family Guy. Stop, you <laughs> Get it up! Dude. Drop the line! <laughs> oh. <laughs> A classic song. Oh, man. I hate snakes, <laughs> This is his pet. Thought he caught it in the river. <laughs> yeah. What a start. So I guess the ride is based off of that first sequence. In the undisturbed chamber and the grave goods that were found in another... What did, what it, did say? it say? Oh, uh, love you. Man, from almost getting killed to teaching a class. Well, I brought for importance and I'm waiting for army intelligence. Did you say army intelligence? Yeah. Tell me what they want. What do I want to see them for? They want to see you. I like how he's so like heroic and badass. And then he comes into class and he has his glasses and his 
notes that are <laughs> falling everywhere. The Nazis have had teams of archaeologists running around the world looking for all kinds of religious artifacts. Interesting. Nazis. Tannis development proceeding. Staff of Ra. They recognize that. Nazis have discovered Tannis. Possible resting places of the Lost Ark. The original stone tablets. Did you guys ever go to Sunday school? <laughs> they put the Ark in a place called the Temple of Solomon. And hidden it in a secret chamber called the Well of Souls. This is a lot. The sun shone through here and gave you the exact location of the Well of the Souls. Okay. The Ark of the Covenant was kept, right? Which is exactly <laughs> what the Nazis are looking for. It's pretty brutal. An army which carries the Ark before it. He's invincible. That's not good. No. That was a huge information dump. Yeah. <laughs> they want you to go for it. Oh, Marcus! The museum gets the arc when we're finished. Oh, yes. That didn't seem very convincing. No. It's like nothing you've ever gone after before. I don't believe in magic. You know what a cautious fellow I am. <laughs> Come prepared. Okay, well, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Always knew someday you'd come walking back through my door. I need one of the pieces your father collected. Oh! I never meant to hurt you. I was a child. I was in love. Oh, is this the falling out with Ravenclaw or whatever? Well, maybe you could find it. It's important, Marion. Oh, that was slick. See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones. There's always such great lighting on him. Oh, oh, she had it right there? This is huge to be wearing. Now she knows it's important. I guess she probably already did if she was wearing it. Oh, the evil guy from the plane. What do you want? The same thing your friend Dr. Jones wanted. Do you still have it? <laughs> Let me show you what I am used to. Wait. Dude is so creepy. <laughs> Let her go. Uh -oh. oh. Damn, Indiana, just blasting shots. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, fire everywhere. There you go, smash him. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, she's gonna blow it? Yeah, breathe some fire. Oh, maybe she was just having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Shoot them. Shoot them both. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. Is he gonna see it? Oh. Oh, good. It's too hot. Did you just jump out a window? My medallion! Her place is destroyed. These to have forgotten how to show a lady a good time. <laughs> You're gonna get more than you bargained for. I'm your goddamn partner. Yeah, all that cash burned up in the bar. Oh, so many flights they had to take. It was insane. That's cool. It shall be welcome in our house. Oh, well, no, you don't have to keep it here just because of me. <laughs> it's as if the pharaohs had returned. When did they find the map room? Three days ago. Oh, they already have the map room? French archaeologist. What's his name? Well, we call him Baloche. <laughs> Belloc. Oh, the guy from the beginning? The Ark. Death has always surrounded it. It is not of this earth. Baby, you got your looks too. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> hey. Oh, and he's off. That guy looks evil, also. Yeah. Okay, super evil. Not the monkey. Did the monkey salute too? <laughs> oh my god. You know, he loved you like a son. Took a hell of a lot for you to alienate him. Not much, just you. Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh, man. Just threw her to the ground. Oh, 
See you later. There's no one even driving that? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just runs. <laughs> Got him. Oh, I thought she was going to come back out dressed as him. So did I. To the monkey see, though. Oh, you Nazi monkey. What a snitch. Ooh. It's a big sword. cheering Help me! like that they just left her in the basket <laughs> dang where'd she go <laughs> place is a freaking maze oh no he just looks like such an American asshole Oh. High explosives. Oh. Got one. Oh, got the driver. Oh no, but all those explosives. Oh. <laughs> well, she wasn't still in there. There's no way. Don't trust that monkey. <laughs> you looking for me? <laughs> okay, guess not. Nope, there he is. Belloc, I ought to kill you right now. Not a very private place for a murder? Don't think he cares. They're not going to interfere in our business. It was not I who brought the girl into this business. So she is dead? I can't believe that. I thought he was waiting to take possession. When I'm finished with it. It's a radio for speaking to God. And it's within my reach. I don't know about that. Let's go see him together. <laughs> Ooh, it's a lot of guns. Next time, Indiana Jones, it'll take more than children to save you. Saved by the kids? No, don't take that freaking monkey. Marion's dead. Yes, I know. I mean, maybe she is. Coming back to get his monkey? Hopefully he's not hungry. Hopefully that monkey eats some. There were raised markings, just like that one. They made the calculations in the map room. This morning. It's gotta be a fake. This is a warning not to disturb the art. This was the old way. This means <gasps> six kadam high. Dead monkey. Got real mystical in here. Belloc staff is too long. They're, They're digging, digging in, in the, the wrong, wrong place. place. <laughs> Oh. oh, bad dates. That guy killed his own monkey. So they somehow got a copy, but it, they didn't get a complete copy. Boy, they're not kidding, are they? They just showed up? Where are they digging for the Well of the Souls? On that ridge. But the map room is over there. Man, the map room was just totally unguarded. I'm assuming they think they just don't need it anymore? That's true. <laughs> That's cool. So he said the staff is too long. It's wrong. The top, right? The wrong of the top is what made the staff too long. Mm. Crap. Did he leave the rope? <laughs> I don't think so. so the squigglies. <laughs> squiggly. Follow the squiggly. Okay, so they put... They need to put it in the hole above the squiggly. Oh, look at the sun. Yeah, coming into the spot. Oh. Crazy. I mean, it makes sense. It looked like it was right in the middle of the biggest building. Gotta take his staff out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. What was that? He must have just went around and collected because he lost his rope. 
distracting them. Oh! oh! She's alive. I must have switched baskets. Get me out of here! Cut me loose! You can't leave right, me here! I'll take you out of here now. I'll start combing the place for it. Oh, no! But if you don't sit still, quiet, this whole thing's gonna be shot. Damn, that sucks. He already broke her heart, now he's gonna just leave her there? No one's digging over there. He's still surrounded, though. Like, how is he gonna... Dig secretly? Or is he just gonna wait until they leave? <laughs> Perhaps a girl can have this. She may know much if properly motivated. If tortured. I have the perfect man for this kind of work. Oh, this guy's back. He ain't laughing. Oh, that's how they got the copy. And only half. Should have grabbed it with both hands. <laughs> oh, so he's got his own crew. How is nobody noticing that, though? I don't know. Nasty looking clouds. You see it? You see? Hey, bring the pry bars in. Push! Pull? <laughs> Watch your toes. Oh. That makes it seem like it's a lot farther away. Yeah. Whoa. Uh. Sorry, Indy. <laughs> hey, I had the same reaction. Why does the floor move? Give me your torch. Snakes? Oh no. What is that? Roaches? S no, it's oh, snakes. It is snakes. That's a lot. Snakes. <laughs> Asps. Very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> I didn't think it would be non dangerous snakes. I must apologize for the treatment of you. What kind of people are these friends of yours? Nazis. I would very much like to see you in it. A better one. Is that Indy's silhouette going walking past? Oh, I don't know. I missed it. Like a wedding gown. Yeah. What the heck? I've already told you everything I know. I have no loyalty to Jones. I don't think we need a chaperone. She's going to start stabbing. They made like a little... A little fire blockade? Yeah. Jeez. What is he doing? Making more fire, I think. See you later, snakes. <laughs> Just torched all the snakes. And this girl can outdrink anyone. That's true. He's like, oh, dang. Other than the snakes, there hasn't really been any traps. Yeah, that's true. I'm also kind of surprised only the two of them went down. <laughs> so drunk. I grew up with this. It's my family label. <laughs> Are they both lying? I think so. <laughs> Perhaps we'll meet someday under better circumstances. This guy. You Americans, you're all the same. Always overdressing for the wrong occasions. Really? <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> that is very impressive. Like solid gold. How are they gonna get that out of there? All right, take it up. Okay, guess they were pretty prepared. You would use a bulldozer to find the China Cup. Uh oh, uh -oh. Kevin, we come in. We need the torches are burning out. Fuck! Right at the last second. That's what he always does. Oh. Follow. Hello. Oh. I thought his friend betrayed him. No. What was briefly yours is now mine. We're about to become a permanent addition to this archaeological find. Oh no, they're gonna just keep him down there? But I do not wish to leave you down in that awful place all alone. Slimy Biff, you let me go! Oh, at least you'll have company. Oh. Ow. You get your hands off of me! 
<laughs> Jumps on top of him. You bastards! I'll get you for this! Indiana Jones, adieu. No! Dang, the silence. Oh, uh -oh. they're running out of light. Indy! Oh. oh, it was just his whip? Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Whatever you're doing, do it faster. There's literally snakes coming out of the walls. So there's a way out then? Oh, that means they're coming from somewhere, yeah. The statues do not seem very sturdy. No. I think he's going to tip one over. <laughs> Goodbye, light and fire. That's another room, at least. Maybe to another place that they've been digging? Get out a different hole? What are you resting on? Hindi? Jeez. It's oh. a tomb. Ladies, stop running. Look. God, that was a horror. There's your light. Fly it out of here. This is an interesting plane. Oh. These propellers. I know, get him into the propeller. Uh oh, everyone's noticing. This guy looks gigantic. Right? Just gonna roll it? Yeah, might as well. It's like, do I have to fight you? There you go, fight dirty. Sand. Nice. Uh oh. Now it's moving. Uh oh. <laughs> she know how to fly a plane? Oh, she knows how to shoot. Uh oh. Oh, this is just turning into one horrific scene. Nice! <laughs> Just going in circles? <laughs> Indy, you are running out of time. Dude needs to go. There you go. Oof. Run. Oh. That was well, great. <laughs> there goes their plane. <laughs> They're not leaving tonight. I want plenty of protection. How'd that blow up? <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Holy smoke, my friends. I, I'm so pleased you're not dead. It has been loaded onto a truck for Cairo. Well, you blew up their plane. I'm going after that truck. Oh, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> there you go, horse. That truck did have a lot of protection. Just gonna hijack the whole truck? I guess. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's like a lion roar. It helps that he is the biggest vehicle. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's having a great time. Oh, right in the wound. Dang. Just gonna try to squash him? I think so. They can just shoot him from the other car. 
No way. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Oof. Right back at him. There you go, how do you like it? Run over. He did it. Idiot. Idiot. I think that driver did surprisingly well, considering the rest of them just all fell off cliffs and stuff. <laughs> He's got to get betrayed by someone. It's too easy. You think? That is for fire, and this is for you. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, totally worth it. They're taking a ship all the way back to England? I think so. What'd you say? <laughs> that was out of nowhere. And that was such a scream. <laughs> wow. Well, God damn it, anywhere doesn't it hurt? Here. On his weenus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was fast. We never seem to get a break, do we? Yeah, this whole, like, don't disturb it thing. That's not good. Engines have stopped. I'm gonna go check. I guess they had a night. I sent my man for you. You and the girl must disappear. We have a place in the hole. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, damn. Got intercepted by a sub. What about Jones? Jones is dead. I killed him. He was of no use to us. It's just behind him. <laughs> We will take what we wish, and then decide whether or not to blow your ship from the water. Damn, he tried to save her. Oh. The goes with me. As much as he hates the uh, his competitor, whatever his name is, I don't think he would hurt the girl. No, I don't think so either. He's got to be here somewhere. I found him. Where? There. <laughs> On the outside of the sub? All oh, cheering. <laughs> yeah, you better get inside. I'm like, if this dives, he's done for. Can't just like hold on to the outside. Oh no. It's too small? Yeah. Uh. Would you be more comfortable opening the arc in Berlin? Oh, so they're gonna open it in advance? Yeah. Guess that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, I had to give him a little nudge. Had to keep her in a nightgown. Couldn't find her other clothes. I mean, she was in a wedding dress earlier, so. <laughs> right, yeah. Where'd you get a rocket launcher from? Jones! I'm gonna blow up the arc, Renee. Yeah, get away from the arc. <laughs> You're gonna give mercenaries a bad name. Did that go in your mouth? Yeah, did he just eat that fly? <laughs> Poor man had to keep the take going. You want to see it open as well as I. This is history. Oh. Stalled him. Nothing? <laughs> All that? Is that because they like took it too far and when it like set on fire or something? Maybe. Uh oh. Okay, no lights. It's like an actual portal. This doesn't seem good. That's not beautiful. Oh. Oh man. Exploded? Gee! <laughs> the ropes are burned off? That literally just eviscerated everyone. What was supposed to be in that box? <laughs> I thought it was the... I thought it was the Ten Commandments or something. The stone, right? Yeah. Just... 
that just was like, leave that there. Yeah, that was like hell. I'd chuck that in the ocean. <laughs> the ark is somewhere very safe. It has to be researched. And it will be... Research? You can't even open the thing. I'm working on it right now. Who? Top men. I'm surprised they even gave it to the Americans. Buy a drink. You know. A drink? <laughs> It's gonna end up in storage? It's literally just do not open. <laughs> Damn, how much stuff do they have? <laughs> All right, that was Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. What'd you think? That was fantastic. That was so much fun. Yeah, I can absolutely see why this is like a classic film. Really excited that there's a trilogy, technically, Four. Four of them. And I loved the fourth one. I saw it multiple times in theaters. I think everyone like poops on that movie. I had a great time and I knew that everyone said that the trilogy was better. Yeah. And yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, but this was great. I mean, Harrison Ford is always fantastic in everything that we've seen him in. So not a surprise there. Indiana Jones is like so iconic. I mean, watching this, it's like easy to see why. Oh yeah. I loved the dynamic between Indy and Marion. Yeah, it was so good. I thought she was so great. Uh, Karen Allen, she was just like a badass and... I actually think she is in the fourth one. I think she's Shia LaBeouf's mom, if anything. Okay. Cause, it's, yeah. yeah, it's been a very long time since I've seen the fourth one. Yeah. And I think I honestly saw it just like on TV. Yeah. Um, so not fully paying attention, but I'm glad that she sticks around because I feel like they're great together. Um, I love their dynamic. She brings a lot and she's not like the damsel in distress. No. Really, even though people try to keep putting her in that situation. She does fall into that situation a lot of times, but she's always like actively trying to fight her way out of it. Yeah, that was great. I feel like Belloc, hope I'm saying that right, was a great villain. Yeah, because he wasn't necessarily a villain. Like, I don't think he would have hurt Marion. No, he was just kind of like an adversary. I guess in the beginning he did tell those people to kill Indy. So I guess he is a pretty bad guy. Yeah, that's true. But it, it wasn't to the extreme as the Nazis. Like you had like Nazis are top evil, then you have Bella, then any random people that Indiana Jones has to fight. <laughs> I mean, this thing was like guns blazing uh, from the second that we started the film. Yeah. I think I had seen some comments on the Goonies kind of comparing the two of them. And I think I definitely saw that in the whole like booby trapped cave system thing that they were going through. Oh, for sure. So that was really cool to see that again. It's been a little bit also since we've been to Disneyland, but remembering like all of the booby trap things, like you drive through and there's like the arrows coming. And the snakes. Yeah, and then even just while you're waiting in line, like there's little tiny things that you can like shake and like that rumble. Yeah. It feels like they built that entire ride really off of the first 15 like, minutes of this film. Yeah, yeah, which were super iconic. Yeah. And I think that's what I love the most about this is the amazing like set pieces that they had for the different action sequences. Like you had the first sequence through the uh, temple or whatever with the big ball and the arrows and all that stuff. The fight scene in Marion's bar. Yes. Like with the fire going everywhere and how that kind of actually played into how the Nazis got the clue. Kind half of, the clue. Half the clue and stuff. Yeah. So just that fight sequence was great the plane fight sequence yes. where it's like just spinning in circles and you know she's shooting the gun and he's fighting that big dude outside you knew those propellers were going to come into play mm -hmm. but just like the whole setup of like her shooting and then the gasoline kind of pouring out and the fire starting and just like the time that you knew that at some point this is going to blow up so you're like watching this great fight sequence knowing like we're running out of time real quick and stuff. Yeah, no, you're completely right. I mean, there were so many just like crazy action sequences throughout. Um, and then you like throw in the snakes and the spiders. Oh, spiders, <laughs> man. <laughs> On top of that. So there was just a lot, it was so jam packed with action, but 
you have like a cohesive story throughout. Right. Obviously, like you were thinking like someone's got to screw someone over. Like there's no way that this, like this is too easy. Yeah. And then the sub shows up. Technically he didn't get screwed over. Like oh, I, no. I thought his friend who I think was Sala, I think. I think that's who it was. I would have to look it up again. His friend who like was the best digger in Cairo or something. Yeah. I thought maybe he was gonna screw him over or like the boat captain was gonna screw him. I know, I don't know why they did the boat captain like that. Yeah, uh, they when made he's him just so like it kind of in the forefront and like the lighting and everything like. So sinister. Yeah, and then he's like trying to save like Marion from Belloc and all of them. And he's yeah. doing his best to make sure that they're okay. He tried to play it off like he killed Indiana Jones yeah. and stuff. So that was awesome. That was awesome that he wasn't betrayed like that freaking monkey. Thank gosh it met its end. Although did the eye patch guy ever get it? I think, I don't think so. No, he might still be around. He just did the poison and he left. So I, yeah. think, I think he's probably just mourning the loss of his monkey. You're right, yeah. <laughs> No, as soon as that monkey like put his arm up, it was like, oh shit, like. <laughs> and I, uh, I like how, I guess not perfect Indiana Jones is. Like he gets beat up in fights. Yeah. Uh, even in the first sequence, you know, he kind of gets screwed over with that guy. He has to give him the uh, whatever golden little head, head or something yeah. like that. And then he has to kind of figure things out. He gets trapped in the temple after the snake thing. Uh, like he's constantly kind of having to figure it out. It's not like some perfect clean thing. And there's like a little bit more realism to that, that it's not just some like hero who comes in and does everything kind of perfectly. Even the fight scene with the guy who had the big giant sword, you think like, oh, a traditional hero, like somehow he's gonna like defeat this master swordsman or something. I like thought that. he was gonna like use the whip. Right, yeah, like use yeah. the whip to fight him or something. And he just was like, kind of just like shrugged his shoulder or something and pulled out his gun and shot him. And then that was it. Like, I'm not gonna mess around here or anything. Or like um, when they take the arc on the truck or something and he's like, okay, meet me back in Cairo or something. And they're like, oh, what's your plan? And he's like, I don't have a plan. Like, I'm just figuring this out as I go. Like, what do you mean plan? Um, so it's just, it's cool because obviously it's so adventure and fantasy and stuff like that. But that little dose of realism uh, is just kind of refreshing. Absolutely. And I think that kind of ties into the fact that we got to see him as a teacher. Yeah. And kind of seeing how he is with his students and that he's just, it's just something he's really passionate about. So like his whole life is built around it, but it's not like he's just constantly chasing things. Like he also wants to educate. Right. So that was really cool too. I, even the moment when they call his bluff, mm. when he shows up with the rocket launcher, you know, it's like, oh wow, he's gonna save the day and get the girl back and everything. And they're like, you're not gonna do it. And he's like, damn, you're right, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, as much as they're kind of like on opposite ends, like Indy and Bellic have like the same goals. Yeah, like, the pursuit for history and artifacts and- Right, so they can both appreciate these things and not want them destroyed. So it was just such a fun movie, moving from amazing sequence to amazing sequence. I mean, the freaking car chase was epic with him and the truck and going underneath the truck and everything. And that ending was, violent like super violent <laughs> yeah i mean obviously like in the very beginning the one guy that kind of betrays him and he gets it like through him i think it came through the front oh yeah there were some moments of like gore yeah um obviously we also was left to the imagination with the propellers on that scene that one was left up to the imagination there was also like a pretty gnarly headshot in the bar fight oh yes yeah, um, so there was some, but that end scene, that was like kind of what nightmares are made of, watching people just like melt. Yeah, like I can't imagine seeing this as like a kid, because honestly, it was very good effects. Like when the heck did this movie come out? I think this is in the 80s. 80s? It's gotta be in the 80s or something like that. Yeah. Because that was pretty great effects. I'm curious how they did it, but like the melting of the face, like that was horrific. Yeah. I mean, it, it happened to the correct guy, the tortured Nazi guy. Yeah. But that was such like a interesting ending because it essentially your hero or your heroes are tied up and can't do anything other than just close their eyes and everyone else just gets literally annihilated. Like they don't exist anymore. Yeah, I mean, there was so many like kind of warnings about taking this and what's gonna happen and all of this stuff. So not surprising that something <laughs> terrible happened, but that was 
gruesome. That was, yeah, for sure it was gruesome. So it's always cool to see like a PG movie, but then it has like all of these crazy things. And like, this would have not been a PG movie. PG-13 for sure, and potentially pushing R rated if some things would have been slightly different. Yeah, but. this is the, so this has got to be like maybe late 70s, early 80s before the Jaws right, slash the Gremlins. Yeah, was it, it was Gremlins, right? I think that caused the shift. I think it was both of those. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, this was an epic movie, just so fun, going along with the adventure with Indiana Jones. Like I said, my favorite aspect was just the, like the set pieces of everything, which it's so easy to see how that translates to like an interesting ride at Disneyland or just like the whole theme of everything. The music is absolutely iconic. Yeah. That dun, 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 that's probably gonna get copyright, just that right there. <laughs> so it was just a fun movie that I'm so happy that I actually was able to experience. Yeah, no, this was great. Um, obviously excited for the rest of the trilogy, but I'm so glad that we got to finally sit down and watch this and absolutely see why this is such a, an iconic film yeah i can't wait to see more indiana jones and the fifth one comes out sometime in like the next couple of weeks or months or something oh i didn't even know they were making a fifth one. yeah there's a fifth one all right it's yeah it's gonna be in theaters soon i think it just like released at Cannes film festival or something okay cool unfortunately it's getting obliterated by reviews oh so i don't know why i haven't looked at the reviews i know it's just kind of like 50 50 so maybe it's one of those movies where it's like you like it or love it. But like I said, I had a great time with the fourth one and a lot of people hate that one. So maybe I'm just like dumb or something, but I can enjoy any sort of Indiana Jones movie and story. So I'm excited. <laughs> Did you say like it or love it? Oh, uh, hate it. Like it or hate it or- <laughs> Love what? it or hate love it. Love it or hate it. So maybe you love it or hate it. So far I've loved every Indiana Jones adventure and I'm excited that there's two more that we get to experience for the first time. Yeah, and apparently a third one too now when yeah. that comes out. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have three more. <laughs> That's true. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Again, you can find the link to FlexiSpot's website in our description below. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.